Hello, fellow voiceover stars! It is I again, your friend and mentor, Bailey Varnas. So now, what we're going to discuss is the second part of making your own voiceover demo, which is how to add music underneath your audio track. So we're using Audacity to do this, and it's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. And you'll be able to add music to any track you want and be able to offer that as one of your professional voiceover editing services. So first off, you need to know where to get music. That's not going to get you into trouble. <laughs> I know that if you love music, you can think, oh, I know the perfect song for this and want to add some hot new song that just came out that you love. The problem is, almost every song has to be licensed in order to be used. And a lot of songs are really expensive to license. So when you're looking for songs that you can use in your demo, or use for a project that someone orders from you, you want to get a song that can be licensed for commercial use. Now, there are several royalty-free song sites out there that offer free usage of their songs. But you have to read the fine print because a lot of them won't let you use them for commercial use or a commercial product. This can mean a lot of things, and it can be risky to go this route. So be sure that you have permission to use a track before you give it to someone because it can be legally tricky if you get caught. The best place I've found that most voiceover pros like to get music tracks is at storyblocks.com. This is a website for royalty-free video and audio for commercial use and has reasonable prices for what you should need. You should think about different genres of audios that you would be voicing, like corporate or meditative or whatever you think you'd do best in your demo, and then get a bunch of tracks that sound good that you or a client of yours might want to use and keep them around as options. So create a little royalty-free commercial use audio library for yourself that you can use over and over again that will work well with your voice. So I downloaded a music track for the Otesla spot that I recorded, if you remember. So let's add the music to make it sound like a fully produced track. Okay, so we have a nice Audacity clean slate here, and we are ready to add some music to the track that we've already recorded. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the voice track that we already made. So we go to Import, Audio, and I just have it here on my desktop. We remember we named it uh, Otesla Voice Only. So this will be our voice track, just the voice. Is plaque psoriasis making you rethink your everyday choices? Okay, so I like to pull that in first. I like to keep uh, the vocal part on top and then add the music underneath. It doesn't matter if you want to do the music on top and have the voice underneath. That's totally fine, too. This is just the order that helps me stay sane and <laughs> know what order I'm doing things. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the music that I have chosen for Otesla, and I have named it Otesla Music, very cleverly. Uh, I got it from the Storyblocks website that I mentioned before. So let's go ahead and bring it in. All right, so here we go. So you see that the music is actually much longer than the tiny little voice track that we had from earlier. So we're actually gonna end up taking a lot of it out. Uh, but the first thing I like to do is I just wanna work with the music. So I go ahead and I mute the vocals. And you saw when I hit mute, it actually pulled, pulled up uh, it, or it automatically turned on the solo button, meaning this is the only track that's going to be played right now. Uh, I could have just hit solo here and it would have muted that as well. Now, solo is cool if you actually have several tracks going, lots of different voices, lots of different music, and you just wanted this one track isolated, you'd probably just go ahead and push that. All right, so we got our music. So the first thing that I do is I highlight everything by just clicking over in here anywhere. So you see the entire music track is now highlighted. And then I go to Effect, Normalize, and I normalize it to this negative 3 dB. And the reason I do it at this volume is because, if you remember before, that's what we normalized the vocals to. So I'm going to make the music be very similar to that. So it, it's now much smaller wavelengths and, to me, I think sounds a lot better. 
Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to lower the gain. That's this top little slider right here. And I like to lower the gain down to negative 15 so that it's not too overwhelming. So anything between um, negative 15 and negative 20 is typically very good for background music for a, a vocal track. Um, if it's super loud, you might make it even lower. If it's really quiet, you might make it a bit higher. But it's typically between negative 15 and negative 20 will be a very good volume for your music. So the music now is kind of ready. So let's go ahead and unmute our vocals. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this now <laughs> so that you can see what's going on. All right, so there is not very much white noise here at the beginning of the music. Actually, let me go ahead and mute the vocals again. We're just going to listen to the music. Um, so we don't have a whole lot to take out here at the beginning, but let's listen to the song and see what we think of it. Okay, so there's a little bit of flair at the beginning that I think I'm actually going to take out so that our demo has sort of like a much cleaner beginning. So let me just try to take out this part and see what that sounds like. Yeah, I think it just has a much cleaner start for what we're trying to do right now. Uh, so I just erased the beginning and it now starts with a little, <laughs> I think a little cymbal hit, hi-hat hit there and uh, it, it works. So now I'll unmute the vocals so we can see where those come in with what we have for the music now. Let's take a listen. Is plaque psoriasis making you rethink your everyday choices? Okay, that actually sounded pretty good, but we do have a time limit on what our piece is supposed to be. Now, our piece is supposed to stop at 12 seconds. So you see at this point, we're already well over that. So we're going to want to take some of this out. So I'm going to take out some of this white noise at the beginning here and see how that sounds. Is plaque psoriasis making you rethink? Okay, I think that was a little bit much. So I'm going to take out a little less and see how that works. Is plaque psoriasis making you rethink Not your bad. everyday choices? Okay, so basically you'd play around with it till you feel like the vocals are coming in right at the right point, but still are able to stay within that 12 second mark that you're trying to hit. Okay, so I did hit it. So that's good. So I'm actually going to take out all of this white noise here at the end. And we have a good 12 second piece for our demo. So now that we know exactly where it's going to end vocal wise, we know it has to be 12 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the music part here and hit shift K. So that goes to the end of the music and I'm just going to delete it because we can't have any music going over this 12 seconds. So, let's hear what the ending sounds like now. Don't hesitate. Ask your doctor about Otesla today. Okay, so it ends a little abruptly. So how I like to fix that is I'll just highlight a little bit of the end here. And we're going to go to Effect and Fade Out. Okay, so let's take a listen to that. Don't hesitate. Ask your doctor about Otesla today. Okay, that sounded a lot prettier. Um, now, typically, if I were going to be doing this for a piece of music that didn't have to officially end at 12 seconds, I'd probably let the music go till about 14 seconds and do a much longer fade out so that it's a little more gradual, a little, little nicer. But since this had to be abrupt, uh, that's why we just did a quick fade out right there. So we've got our ending. We have faded out. Now, if we go back to the beginning... We could also fade in here. I'll let you hear what that sounds like. Is plaque psoriasis making you rethink your everyday choices? Okay, that's okay. Um, I don't really like it for demo purposes. You know, with demos, you kind of want to make it clear. We are starting a new piece, a new sound. So I do kind of like the abruptness that it has right now. Is plaque psoriasis making you... Yeah, so I think that's good. So basically, we have our piece. We've got our vocals, we have our music, and it is ending now at 12 seconds with a nice little fade out. So let's just take one listen to the whole thing, make sure it sounds good before we export it. Is plaque psoriasis making you rethink your everyday choices? 
Otesla is a pill that can help people with plaque psoriasis achieve clear skin. Don't hesitate. Ask your doctor about Otesla today. Pretty. All right. So we have it. So now all we have to do is export this piece as an MP3. And what's going to happen is it's no longer going to be just named voice only. We're now going to make this Otesla demo because this is specifically the demo that's finished for our Otesla piece. And when I export it, it will be mixed down into one track where the vocals and the music, they're all just together on one piece and it'll sound really nice. So let's go ahead and save it. We don't need any metadata. And there you have it. <laughs> so this is how you add music to a single spot for your demo. And you're going to have five spots. So you just want to add them one after another without any space between them to complete your demo. You may need to adjust the normalization and gain on the final demo in case one of the or two of the spots are really jumping out at you too much compared to the others. But you're a pro now and you can do this. So get to work on this thing because your demo is your greatest tool to getting jobs. So work hard on it because it's that important. <laughs> and once you have a demo that you're really happy about, you're ready to add it to your profile. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next video. And if you check out my full course at voiceworkacademy.com, I teach you how to add music and sync your work to video using the more advanced DAW Adobe Audition. So when you're ready to add video time syncing, video time syncing to your voiceover production resume, be sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next one.